I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate a scenario related to record trigger flow. Let's understand the requirement of the scenario first. So, in this scenario, I am going to compare fast field update with actions and related record option. So, if I go to the developer console, sorry, if I go to the developer edition org and click on new flow and select record trigger flow and click on create. So here at the bottom, you can see we have two options to optimize the flow for fast field updates and actions and related record. So the difference is, for example, if I'm creating any account record and on the creation of that account record, if I want to modify some values of that account record only, then I can choose this fast field update because I need to focus on the or that record through which this flow is triggered only. If you want to focus on actions and related record, then you can choose this option, right? So here I'm choosing account, then trigger the flow when a record is created. And then I'm choosing fast field update and I'm clicking on done. So if I click on plus, so here you can see we have very less elements available. So update triggering record, then assignment, decision loop, collection sort and collection filter, then update record or get record, right? Now, if I change this to actions and related records and click on done. So you will see more elements like send email alert, actions, subflow. Uh, these logical elements are same. And in data, you can see we have create and delete record elements as well. Right. So this way, I hope uh, like on element uh, point of view, you understood the difference. Now, with the help of an example, we will see the differences between fast field update and actions and related record. So if you want to uh, create any account record from the UI and if on that account record industry is media, so uh, then you want to set rating as hot. So this, this type of requirement you can uh, do with the help of fast field update because you just need to update the record through which record trigger flow will be triggered, right? You don't need to do, uh, you, need, you don't need to perform any actions. You don't need to uh, do anything with the related record. So in this kind of scenario, you can go with fast field update. So here I'm choosing fast field update, clicking on done, right? So if I click on plus, so from here I can choose update triggering record. So labeling it as up, update account. If you want to set the filter condition, you can, right? So here I'm setting the condition like if industry is equals to media, then rating should be hot and done. Also, you can read this uh, because this flow runs before a record is saved. You can only update the record that triggered the flow to run. To update other records, configure the record, configure the trigger to run the flow after the record is saved. That is actions and related record. So I'm just clicking on done. So here you can see update record element is available. Right? So now I can save it. So with this name, I'm saving this flow and I'm going to activate it. Now moving to accounts. So here I'm going to create account records. So here uh, we have industry field and I am selecting media and rating you can see is none. So I'm clicking on save. Moving to details and here you can see rating is equals to hot. If I create one more, This time I'm not selecting industry or maybe if I select agriculture and click on save. 
And if I go to details, you can see rating is blank because uh, at the time of update, we set the condition. If industry is equals to media, then only rating will be hot. So these kind of scenarios you can implement with the help of fast field updates, right? Next requirement is actions and related records. So when to use it. So upon creation of account, create a related case automatically. So if this kind of requirement you have, like uh, you are creating an account and you want a related case should be created automatically. So now you can choose actions and related records, click on done. So I'm just deleting this element now. And here you can see like more uh, elements are available and create record is also available. So I'm just selecting it, create case. We need to create one case and uh, through separate resources and literal values. From here, I'm selecting case. Now we need to see like which fields are required on case. So if I go to case, try to create new case and click on save. So you can see case origin and case status. These two are required. So here I need to select case origin. So I selected phone and then status. I selected new. And if I want to link this case, newly created case record with the account. So I need to populate account ID lookup with the account ID. So from here I can select record.id. So whenever any account record is being created, so that account records, all the fields will be available in this global variable that is dollar record. Through that, you can access that value and you can assign that into account ID. So I'm just clicking on done, right? So this way, uh, this create case or create record element is available here. Now I'm just clicking on save as, saving it as a new version and clicking on save and activate. Now, if I go and try to create a account, Right, so I'm not uh, putting any other value and I'm clicking on save. So here you can see a related case is created. If I open this case, so you can see uh, here, uh, this is linked with the account. Status is new, priority is by default, medium, case origin is phone. So the fields which we set are available here. So this way, if you want to do something on the related record, so you can choose actions and related record. And also if you want to perform any action, like you want to send an email or you want to send a notification or you want to call any uh, subflow. So these actions are also available.